stressful, I would think. I'm not surprised what's happened and it wasn't a shock this morning. It's very sad that he feels like he's got to stand away from royal duties but he's obviously made that decision and I think part of that might have been to do with his mum, Princess Diana. So yeah, I'm sad but it's his decision at the end of the day and obviously the Queen has sorted it all out. I feel it's sad that we're losing Harry a little bit, um, but I also can understand his reasons for going um, and wanting to have a normal life away from the press and the media so much. Um, yeah, I can understand it really. I, I'm very sad about it because um, I love the royal family very much. And I know he's got to be modern and everything, but um, I'm, I really am upset. Quite in your face, isn't it? Yeah. I think if you missed Owen, you'd probably end up with a car that bounces back off him, wouldn't it? I was very surprised about Harry uh, with the um, National Services. Very shocked about that, because he was out in Afghanistan on the front line. Also, my cousin was out there as well, he was a sergeant, and I was a little bit uh, upset. <laughs> <laughs> and they just wait, oh, it's one of them. <clears throat> I have mixed feelings on it, really. A little bit of sadness because obviously I think he wanted to find a little bit of happiness. And I just think I feel sorry that it's broken down a little, to be quite honest with you. But um, we only want for him is to be settled and have a lovely family life. Um, oh, I could even Oh, nice one, I'll just go Red scimitar thing that fell. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 Yeah